Well, hey there, all you miniatures lovers on the interwebs. I'm Doc Eon. It's another Monday, and I'm here to ramble. It is, in fact, Monday the 17th of January, 2022. And, well, you know, I've gotten really up to speed, it seems, through speed painting. These are the Skeleton Pirates from the Brinewind expansion to the Bones 5 uh, Kickstarter from Reaper. So, what this is, is Reaper Bones. These are Reaper Bones Black. In fact, uh, apart from, from the skeletons, oops, I also finished the Ghost Pirates because that's so simple. It's just glazing on some colors and a little shade, and boom, he's done. Um, <clears throat> and I hope you think they look okay. They're supposed to look a bit dirty and grungy because they've been dead for a long while. Um, they are very matte compared to a lot of other miniatures you've seen from me. This is because I've gone with a new method of varnishing. I'm varnishing by airbrush in my spray booth, my spray booth, and using AK Interactive uh, varnishes. I, 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 I've done my usual thing of putting on a gloss coat first and then a matte coat. Which, in this case, the gloss was not very gloss at all. I don't know, maybe I thinned it too much. Um, it was barely satin, honestly. So, maybe that's why the matte coat took much more. Compared to when I do it with my rattle cans. But I don't know, I, I think it looks fine. It looks, it looks okay. Um... Don't know if I want this really, really, really dead matte finish. Maybe I, I um, need to get hold of, of a uh, bottle of satin varnish as well for, for some uses. Uh, I'll look into that. <clears throat> but anyway, this is a total of 13 minis done. Now, a lot of this is because, I, as I said, I've speed painted it. It's a lot of washes. And very, very, rough, you know, just rough base coat, quick highlight, and then uh, an overall wash of uh, a, a dark brown. I don't recall if it was a strong tone from a armor painter or Agrax Earth Shade from Citadel, one of those two, and Bob's your uncle. So I don't want to paint everything that way. Some Some miniatures I want to give a little more care to. But we'll see how it goes going forward. Let's move on to the paint table. And here we have the Brinewind Townsfolk that we're working on. You can see that I've done some <coughs> a little work on the skin tones and, and a few other random patches on them. Both, mostly they're just prepped. They're sort of uh, dark lined and ready to get some color on them. I'm, uh, I will sort of speed paint them, not as drastically as the skeletons. They'll get like a few percent more care put into them. Uh, but not as much as with metal minis. So, and, and here you can see the, the brush holders at work behind them from last week. Or the week before last. Um, and yeah, no, they were from last week. Sorry. Hey. Um, yeah, not much else to say, really. It's just standard painting. Uh, here's the um, newly primed minis that I showed you that I was going to prime last week. We have the Fruit Seller, who is a metal model, an old, well, not that old. It's, it's supposed to be in the Brine Wind collection. From back when they were all metal. Anyway, we, we have more Brian Wind models from the Kickstarter here. The Sailmaker, the Two Shrines, and I added one that you didn't see before. This is the Shark Butcher. This is the Butcher himself, and here's a stand with a shark hanging ready to be butchered. And they're all backlit right now. This is because it's actually brighter outside than inside. My, my, my lamps can't outshine the sun currently. So, you can't 
see them perfectly, but if I tilt them a little bit here, you can see uh, we have a sort of yellowish tan primer on them. And what's this little model standing by on the side? This is an old Bones model from a previous Kickstarter that got banged up in transport. You can see the paint has been chipped here on top and I think on the shoulder there and on the base. So I'm going to clean him up and while I'm doing that I'm going to put him on a bigger base because this base is too small for such a big body. He, he can tip over very easily. And I don't know, I can't... He's too beefy to straighten. I think we can see if we can do something about that, but no, I, don't, I think he's too solid to, to, it's not that he's warped or anything, it's just he's cast this way. Oh well. As I said, we'll see what we can do about him. And that is the stuff in the works. Now, looky here, Christmas came late, um, or you could say early in a certain sense. Uh, I have had a new arrival. This is my December order from Reaper Miniatures. It arrived before either the October or November orders. Uh, <laughs> and the reason probably is because they sent it with tracked shipping. Uh, they've stopped normally doing that in their... Uh, shipments to the EU, but for some reason with the Christmas order they did it anyway. And so it arrived before everything else. And there's not that much Christmas stuff in here because most of their special Christmas minis, the ones that have this sort of packaging, I already had. In fact, <clears throat> I might already have the Winter Elf, I don't recall. But I had to pick two and this is the only one I was pretty sure I didn't have before. We'll, we'll have to... <laughs> and, and everything is packed down, so I don't know if... Uh, I don't recall the Winter Elf, but um, anyway. Uh, also, this Christmas sampler includes a, a sort of gingerbread man bones mini, and some paints, which I'm pretty sure I already have, and some uh, candy. Uh, I'll have to unpack the candy before next Christmas. <laughs> But otherwise, I'll save these Christmas things for later. Uh, what else? Well, because they always send bonus minis with your order. The, the bonus minis you get to pick from these days are worse. Honestly, they used to have where, where they, they um, offered stuff from their older metal range. The, the smaller ones, the sort of 25 millimeter ones, and I like those, but nowadays they, they are, they're offering their early bones stuff, this white soft stuff. So I picked two, we have the gnome, the wizard, and the monk. They're not, they're very soft in the details, they're not great, but eh, whatever. They were free. Um, most of the rest of the stuff I ordered is pirate themed because, as I've mentioned, I'm working on a pirate slash nautical slash coastal campaign at the moment. However, there's also one civilian here, which huh, is a duplicate. I, I, I had forgotten. I, had, I, for some reason, had missed the fact that I already had this miniature, which you've already seen prepped, in fact. So... Uh, well, I have an extra copy of her. I'll put her in my duplicates box. I have a special box just for minis that I've already painted that I have a second or even third copy of for some reason. But otherwise, we have the the pirate theme. We have, well, I, I sort of think this is a pirate theme. The halfling cooks, uh, I feel, are, well, maybe not pirates. The civilians, at least let's go with that theme. We have a big cannon which doesn't have to be a pirate ship cannon, it could be a cannon on land, I don't know. We have a goblin pirate, scroll of the black. We have a half-orc pirate. We have a, um, I think this is a tiefling pirate. Just an ordinary human. Um, what's this? This is a goblin 
part with Powder Monkey, which is, and it's a literal monkey. We have the Bethalion Pirate. Bethalions are what Reaper calls mind players, to avoid copyright. And finally, the Minotaur Pirate. So, a lot of weird races. <clears throat> In fact, you know what? I, I, I want to start painting most of these. Not the Christmas stuff and not the fruit seller because I've already got her in the works. But basically all the rest of it, uh, I need to start prepping. And so there's going to be a pause in my work on the Kickstarter, on the Bones 5 stuff. Because I want to get all of this stuff prepped for painting instead. Uh, and it's a lot. It's like one, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, thirteen minis, of which two were really big. So this is a big project. Uh, but we'll see next week how far I get in the process. Until then, I'm wishing you a good rest of the week. I also wish for a thumbs up on this video and a subscribe and a share and a comment. Well, we'll see what I get. Uh, but above all, please be back here next week. Same day of the week, same channel, same day of Keon. And I am now signing off.